Hello. How are we doing today? My name is Quentin. I'll be your guide through this farm. It is the middle of summer now. We've been kind of resting up while the grass has been growing and the crops have been growing and I think it's about time we uh, started the harvest. The barley there looks ready. The barley there does not. I think that's barley in this field next to us. To our left here. Or is that right? I can never tell. So today, what we'll be doing is we'll be doing some harvesting. In this uh, class dominator harvester. And hopefully it will allow us to do so. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I have no idea if it's going to let us, but there is only one way to find out. In through the gate and around. Let us get this all unfolded. There we go. We cannot yet harvest. Nuts. That was my plan for the day. Uh, so failing that... Is... That is a non-starter. Alright, calm down. Failing that... I believe the only thing we can do is place an order for a chainsaw. I like this Husqvarna. And uh, let us do some forestry. So let us start in this staging area kind of place. And just chop down all the trees. Tree there. You can go down. That is falling in the wrong direction. Now I know which way to cut from. Tree there. Go down. And this tree here. Now... In a previous life, I believe I was a forestry person type thing, so we will find out how well I can remember that. Good lord, this tree is huge. Alright, so... How do we want to do this? If I would cut it here... Like that. Yes. And then like that. I am guessing the length of these logs, if you haven't guessed. And then like that. One, two things that I will require, which I have just realized. I will require a trailer of some description to carry these logs. As well as something to put the logs onto the trailer in the first place. And I will also need a tractor over here to well, carry the trailer. So, oh, that's disappeared. Magnificent. Uh, what shall we do? Well, if we were to grab this... Just go down along the length of it like that. We should be good. Perfect. And the same to this log here. Which I believe has fallen through one of the hedges. Has it? Has it hit the hedge? Just about. But it's fine. Alright, let's ring the shop here. And 
rent ourselves a 325T JCB with a log fork of some description. This TG84 should be fine. I don't trust the JCB branded one. So let's grab that. We'll also need a trailer. And if we're getting a trailer, we may as well rent a... What do we have here? We could rent a wood chipper. Hmm, that is a thing we could do. We require a trailer. Hmm. What do we have in the bailing technology? No. Um, I mean, under forestry equipment, all we really have is this, which is probably too expensive to rent. No, it's 4,000. And this, which is probably far too big to rent. It's cheaper, but yes, it is in, in fact very expensive. It is in fact huge. So, can we get a normal ish tipper that perhaps we can throw some logs into? Hmm. Is there anything we could use? I haven't planned this at all, so. You may have to be, have some patience with me here. I think I think our best bet is if we hop into this and bring this over. We can just pile the wood up, up for now. I just need to plan out my route. So we are here. The forest is up here, so we're going to have to go down by field 26, around, up and around. Oh, good lord. So that'll be a left, straight through, then a right, and then straight along. Oh, hang on. Left, straight through, left, right. Left, straight, left, right. Got it. Does this thing have a beacon? Don't know if this thing has a beacon. Let's turn on our straight line lights. By Lee, I believe this is road legal. If it's not, there's no police around to complain. So the plan here is to at least get this up <laughs> to the forest today in this video. If we can't, it's not the end of the world. I'm somewhat surprised that our crop is not ready to harvest, however, as it does look quite harvestable. Perhaps, I would guess, it needs a bit more time. Come on, get out of the, get out of the little ridge. You, there, there we go. So we're going straight through the roundabout up here. And then we will take a left into town, a right in town, and continue along that road. This is one of those videos that I really dislike because it's going to take an awfully long time and there's going to be very little of, of worth here at all. I do apologize, but Dave has set me a schedule, a schedule and uh, unfortunately I must abide by it.
Do I have any beacon light at all on this? I do not. The uh, hydraulics on this seem to be quite... quite, um... lackluster, I believe is the word. There are other words beginning with this, but... I shall keep it above board. So there's... what's that? Oh bugger, that's... that's the sawmill. So no matter what I get, I'm going to have to get the wood from up way up over there, down to over there. That is a... that is not a good situation. That is not ideal at all. Um, it would appear as if this equipment might be too small. However, what I will do is I will investigate other sources of rentable equipment and perhaps a lawnmower. Does the shop have a lawnmower? I recall Dave saying mowing lawns was a good way to get ahead. Mowers. Amazon Profi Hopper 2017 edition. And we have the money. I see no reason not to do this. Granted, it's going to be this is going to be one of my more ridiculous videos. Um let's abandon that there. Let's do some lawn mowing. Because nothing says lawn mowing like driving even slower than before. What I'll do to speed things up for you fine chaps is... Uh, I'll cut this bit out. And just immediately appear in a lawn. Just like this. Ta-da! So, I've spoken to the homeowner here. I've also spoken to the owner of that pub. We are allowed to mow this grass. We're also allowed to dump the grass into the pub car park for later collection. So, without further ado, let's get mowing. I'm sure there are lawn care professionals watching this and grimacing. As it is quite clear, I have no idea what I'm doing. However, the truth of the fact is, they would be right. I have no idea what I am doing. The owner of the pub also wants their grass mowed, so if I have time, I don't know if I will, I can um, go in and mow their grass too. This homeowner has promised me 50 pounds for doing their grass, and that is 50 pounds I am not going to turn down. I mean, I asked for 5,000, but they said 50, and money is money. Who doesn't have 5,000 pounds lying around to pay the gardener? Goodness gracious. I mean, if you're not going to do your own lawn, at least have the money for a gardener. One of good quality like myself. Well, I may not know what I'm doing. I, I clearly have vast experience in, in business. There we go. I appear to have put the mower stuck. <laughs> there we go, we're free. Magnificent, there we go. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Good lord, this person has weeds in the garden. They're huge. And they're so huge, in fact, the mower can't take them. I bet have hit a tree that was inside that, oh, bleh, bleh, that hedge. Be careful with the hedges. They are quite painful. Full of thorns. Careful. 
right, that's what I believe is called the outside round done. Let's go up this way and start doing lines. My favorite thing in the world. There we go. In fact, let's just mow this lawn, however, it happens to mow. This person doesn't deserve a pretty lawn. They weren't paying, willing to pay a premium for their lawn, so clearly they, didn't, they don't care enough how well it is done. If they paid a premium, I might be interested in doing stripes or something fancy like that. This prairie apple is almost half, half full already. That is not exactly ideal. I may open what is called a lawn care company. Now that I have this Amazon Profi Hopper at my disposal, and I know people are willing to part with money to get their lawns mowed, which I should have known to begin with. And oh, bother! How was I to know the pub had a? Blasted lawn at the front. I climbed the hedge to get in there. Once they finished shouting at me for being in the kitchen, they spoke to me about getting the lawns mowed. That's why they were willing to let me dump the grass. Blast. That's given me more work than I thought I had. They're not even paying for it. There we go. I may be a blithering idiot at times, but I can... can, uh, take care of lawns. I do take pride in my work, even though it's not going to be the best work in the world. There we go. Almost full now. Let's turn on the lights. For some reason, the backlight on the dashboard doesn't work unless the um, headlights are on, which is an inconvenience, but one that is easily solved by turning the headlights on. So this, I believe, has a 3,200 litre capacity. Yeah, it will be in maybe 3,250. Just over 3,000 litres now, and increasing at a quite nice rate. By nice, I mean relatively slow. 3,117, 3,146. Where's that last bit? There it is. Fantastic, there. Yeah, just nip that. 3,165 litres. Now, of course, once we get this full, we're going to have to go out and around the back of the pub. 3,172. 3,225. So it's more than 3,250, I believe. Yes, it is, because we're now at 3,282 litres. What is, in fact, the capacity of this thing? Is it 3,350? By any chance? Because it's looking, it's feeling like it's rather full, and we're at 3,334. 3,350 litres. Perfect. Although the one litre of a difference doesn't make much of a difference. Not a big deal. So, in. And how bad is this? Blast. I've got a bomb deal. They said we have to do it in the car park itself. Where the does this count as car park? 
I believe, I would guess this counts as car park. So let us start tipping there. And there we go. Empty. Nice and slow while the hydraulics work. There we go. Why the blazes is that up? Close blast thing. There we go. Back into the lawn we go then. I have no idea how long this video is supposed to be. I, or is going to be. Courtesy of the fact that I'm cutting slight. Well, a reasonably large amount out of it. On the drive over. I believe these areas of grass in front of the houses are actually the responsibility of homeowners. So what I will do is I will also mow that area in front of this house. I hope they don't mind that I've got my beacon on for safety reasons. Because if they do, that's their own problem. I am not going to turn my beacon off as it would be unsafe to do so. I was told off by a police officer before for not having a beacon on, so beacon will be on in all vehicles which have beacons. He did say he only do it on the roads, but better safe than sorry. I mean, if, if they walk up in front of me unawares and I'm looking like that, how am I supposed to know that somebody st stood in front of me? What if I'm using my phone? You know, there's there's no guarantee that they will be safe. The spinning ones will, well, good for them. I don't have any. I don't know why they're telling me that. Grab these bits of grass, the debris. See, this lawn's looking very good indeed. There's very few problems with this lawn now. When I arrived, it was an overgrown mess, and when I'm leaving now, look at it. It's nearly perfect. I will admit that it may have been faster to have waited for extra money to buy a trailer, but. I can earn the trailer amount. If I can earn the money for the trailer from doing these lawns, then this lawn care business can really begin. Although, I don't know exactly how well it's going to go. I may do some treescaping also. There we go. Oh, bugger. Hate working near a washing line. It wrap. Yes. I don't think I can get that bit. I will try. I don't think it's going to be possible. Oh, no, 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 it is. Last bit. And the last, last bit. As I missed a bit there. This lawn would appear to be perfect. A true professional would do a walk around of the lawn. Well, an insecure professional might. I, however, am so strong in my belief that I know exactly what I'm doing. But I'm not going to. So let's move this bit here. Move this bit here without crashing. There we go. Whoop. Property line. Tough look, neighbor. That's your problem, not mine. Although it does look like I'm going to have to roll over your bit of the lawn regardless. Would in fact look like I've managed to get this uh, stuck on the wall itself. 
There we go. Freedom. So you look perfect. Perfect, nice, short grass. And this side I don't have to be as careful. Yes. The second property I'll be doing will be, in fact, the pub itself, which is right next door to this house. I believe I missed a bit. There we go. Grab that. There we go. I've run into the wall again. Perfect. Onwards and upwards. Let's do around the front of the pub first. And, well, at least around the fences. To give it that look of they know what they're doing and make me look all professional and good. Perhaps a smaller mower would be more appropriate, but this is bigger and has a higher capacity for grass. It's not a push mower and I don't like walking. I especially don't like having to do manual labour, which a push mower sounds very much like. See, that is very neat and tidy there, except for that bit there. We can ignore that bit there. It doesn't seem like the Profi Apple wants to pick it up. Let's grab that bit and that bit. Wonderful, look at this. Don't know exactly how much the Profi Apple is picking up or how much it's missing, but it's looking like we're getting quite a bit of grass. It's also looking like we've got stuck again. In fact, I am pretty sure we're stuck. No, we're not. I was just trying to come out the wrong way. Yes, that actually looks pretty good. Actually, I'm surprised at how good it looks. I did, however, miss a bit here somehow. How did I miss this bit? There we go. Much better. I also believe I missed a bit over here. Yes, I missed it quite a lot over here. Got to see the wall, uh, the uh, fence line incident. Oh, that's still the property of the pub. And I've been told to not go near the hedges by the owners of the pub, so we should be good. Come on. Um, not again. Come on. Free yourself. What on earth are you doing? Why are you not going to do this? Come on. Get into the mower. Blast! I don't know where that blithering bit of grass can stay. I'm over word with the Reverend about uh, potentially doing the churchyard as well. And the owner of that shell garage. That uh, may be a lucrative contract, especially seeing as we can keep this grass and uh, use it as we please. Which, for the most part, we'll be doing absolutely nothing with. However, it does help to have grass. Probably just uh, set it off. There we go. Load it up into a trailer, bring it over to the biogas plant and make biogas out of it. Grass can turn into silage. Silage can turn into biogas. Quaint and genius. I can run two businesses from this. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video there and uh, we will probably continue on this little mowing streak in the next one. Seeing as we have no actual field work to do at the moment and uh, this mowing is suddenly very lucrative. Seeing as I've made some minor discoveries. It does occur to me that there is no front loader tractor around here but there is one over at the farm. We have the little international Yeek tractor, which uh, does actually have a front loader. We can use that. So, I do hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, do please do hit the like button and the subscribe button also. 
and are you going to get stuck on the fence again? No, you've let me win this argument. Well done. Um, also hit the subscribe button and do feel free to watch the playlist of all of my Orchard Farm presentations which are kindly brought to you by Dave. I will leave you by saying I have been Quentin. You can leave comments as well actually. Please do. I quite enjoy reading them. Dave has been teaching me how to read and uh, I believe it's going quite well. I will leave you by saying I have been Quentin. You have been watching my rather brilliant exploits in Orchard Farm. And uh, hopefully the mowing now will result in much profit. It is a, a rather genius enterprise, if I do so so myself. Until next time, pip pip, cheerio, and goodbye. Blasted Profi Hopper. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we should probably get a picture.